The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Bread for the Hungry. Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. John 6, verse 35. Many are starved and strengthless because instead of eating of the bread which came down from heaven, they fill their minds with things of minor importance. But if the sinner will partake of the bread of life, he will, regenerated and restored, become a living soul. The bread sent down from heaven will infuse new life into his weakened energies. The Holy Spirit will take of the things of God and show them to him, and if he will receive them, his character will be cleansed from all selfishness and refined and purified for heaven. To the careless, the indifferent, the unconcerned, those standing on the precipice of ruin, Christ says, Open the door of your heart, give me entrance, and I will make you a child of God. I will transform your weak, sinful nature into the divine image, giving it beauty and perfection. Not only does Christ give us the bread of life, but the water of life, which he gives is as a well of water springing up into everlasting life. It possesses life-giving properties and purifying efficacy, for it proceeds from the throne of God. Those who will permit God to work in them will grow up unto the full statue of men and women in Christ Jesus. Every power of the mind and body will be used in the service of God. He has wonderful blessings to give to those who will receive him. He is mighty in strength and wonderful in counsel. By the ministration of the Holy Spirit, he seeks to impress his image upon our characters. If we will feed upon him, we shall become new creatures in Christ Jesus. The virtues of a true Christian character, the excellences that are revealed in the character of Christ, will be seen in the life born of the Spirit. Man, with his human nature, will become a partaker of divinity. The power of Christ will work to sanctify every part of the being, diffusing life, activity, and soundness through the whole and developing spiritual efficiency.